John, thank you so much for your time today. I'm so excited to hear more about the Isaiah 61 movement or I61M. How would you sum up the movement in a nutshell? Basically, it's an innovative way of allowing Christians, the vast majority who don't really, really engage in sharing their faith, to do it in a really natural way that builds friendship and increases confidence in sharing the gospel. It's based on an app, but it's all relational, and it's a wonderful thing to see people beginning to share life and faith and Jesus. And how did God inspire you to start I-61? <laughs> Talk us through the, the, the journey and, and also i'd love to hear a bit about how it connects with your faith journey so far since you yeah. set up christians gets poverty over 25 years ago now yeah um so yeah i yeah as you said founded christians against poverty about 28 years ago now and yeah basically my passion came from my own conversion so i'd lost everything it was in a desperate situation and one man Basically, I now realized what he was doing. He, he shared his life with me first. He was a he was a really kind, generous, compassionate guy. He wanted to know about me. He could see I was struggling. He helped as he showed his faith by how he was. But also he he shared his faith. He, he wasn't embarrassed about talking about being a Christian and what it had meant to him and how he'd journeyed with it. And then, of course, eventually, as our friendship grew, he asked me if I wanted to know Jesus. And, of course, I did. And upon that one decision, my life literally pivoted i was living in one room with two children uh, struggling to feed them broken marriage loads of debt long story short the transformation that i've seen in my life in my family in everything i've done comes from one person who basically had the confidence or grew in confidence to share his faith so my passion for people to find christ just comes from a passion of what he's done with my life and what it is to know him. And I know that so many of us have got that passion, but we can't, we haven't found ways to sort of express it to others. And yeah, as I left CAP, uh, began the journey three years ago, I, yeah, I just turned 60 and I was just really saying to him, look, I'm, I'm here. I'm really here. If, if you've got anything, please let me know. If you haven't, it's okay. I've worked since I was 50, but I knew that if he was going to bring something, it would be around my passion for, sharing Jesus for people finding faith. I'm not an evangelist in the more traditional point of view. I don't do street evangelism. I don't stand up with people in front of people I don't know and share the gospel. I'm much more relational. And that's exactly what he did. So I began the journey trying to find out in the wonderful space I had, why are eight out of 10 Christians not sharing their faith? Why are our churches not bursting with new people who have come to know him? And through a long journey came up with, yeah, the Isaiah 61 movement and the app and the way that we do it. But I actually journeyed through that myself, me and Lizzie. We realized we hadn't led anybody to the Lord for about five years. And we determined we would we would lean into it and we would journey ourselves as we were uh, going through the concept. So an amazing, an amazing journey, but all glory to God. It's his innovation. It's his kingdom. It's for his kingdom of advancement, not our own. And we're amazed that we're ready now to, yeah, we're launching and away we go. Sounds really, really inspiring. So talk me through the app. Um, that's really at the heart of the movement. Um, practically, mm -hmm. how does it help? Well, um, it is, it, it's definitely a big part of what we do, but as you'll hear, it's kind of, it links in with the, with doing it with others, with being in community. But basically, um, when we started looking at this, I realized that my life was surrounded by amazing, amazing, amazing bubbles of amazing people, home, church, work, friends, the whole thing was just amazing. I had so many friends, five kids, three grandkids, amazing. But we didn't have the friendships with people who didn't know Christ. And if you if you haven't got a, if you don't know anybody who doesn't know Christ, you're not going to do any relationship evangelism. So me and my Liz, me and Lizzie basically decided to share our life and make friends. And then as I was looking at why do people want to do this but don't do it, I realized that there are so many aspects of how and why we do things. And one of the most important ones is is really accountability. And the way that we have designed goals within the app means that you can set your own goal and, and you must, because if we don't set goals, we don't do it. So basically what it does, you've got, you end up putting a date and a, a person and what you're going to do, be it asking for a, a coffee, go out and see them, go for a walk with them, wherever it is in the three stages of, of the Isaiah 61 journey. And it was remarkable. Me and Lizzie 
began doing things because we'd said to each other, we're going to do it. We'd written it down. We'd put a day on it. There's no app. There's just a piece of paper. But from that innovative, and we built the app to really help anybody along this journey. And it's phenomenal to see the goals set. We don't know what anybody's goals are, but we see all the goals set. And one day last week, we haven't even launched, we had 45 goals set in one day. So 45 Christians who've been doing some of our trials had set goals to share life, to share faith, and yeah, to share Jesus. Remarkable. Who's it for? Is it just for the next generation of Christians? No, it's for anybody. It's literally for anybody, any Christian. Um, any Christian who's got a, a, a heart and a desire uh, to share you know, to share Jesus. Um, it's so adaptable and so flexible. You can use it in any, in any, anybody can use it. Um, you set your goal. So it's not restrictive. It's open. It's light touch, but it's very impactful. And one of the aspects of it that really makes a difference is doing it in community. So most Christians have some kind of engagement with other Christians in some kind of community, be it a midweek group or maybe a ministry group or a serving group. We are we do group together as Christians. We do spend time together, maybe just some couples that meet once a month as friends. And, and the app really, really, really comes alive when you do it with other people, when you set goals together. Um, we've been running a group in our in our home since we started. We were the first trials about nearly a year ago now. And just to watch people who've been Christians for 20 years and never shared their faith, beginning the journey of of, of yeah, deepening new and existing friendships, growing in confidence to, first of all, let people know they're a Christian. And, and these little goals that everybody set, they are, they are far, far bigger than people think. And it just, over time, it kind of changes. My wife describes it as it, it kind of made us lean into it. You know, we're just, we're just leaning in a little bit more aware of, of looking for friendships, looking for opportunities, but very gentle, um, I think one of the reasons why eight out of 10 Christians don't share their faith, and this is research, by the way, by the Evangelical Alliance, it isn't it just making the figures up, is because we've seen evangelism kind of done as a, almost as a, this is what an evangelist does, and you hear an evangelist, and you just sit there and you go, oh, well, I do. You just go, I, I can't do that. Well, you, I can't do that. <laughs> That's not what I'm called to do. And also, evangelism has often been a bit prescriptive, so it's been like, mm. okay, okay, Church, do this, say this, ask people, invite people to this. Whereas ours is much lighter, but actually it's more impactful because you make the goals yourself because you believe you can do it. And it's a stage part of growing, particularly in growing in confidence and sharing your faith is is remarkable just by little steps. It's amazing. And as you say, doing it in community as well, that's just so empowering. Mm -hmm. And I can see how you very quickly kind of build momentum around it as well. Yeah, so how can people get involved? Okay. Um, there's really three ways to get involved. The, the first thing that we would say to everyone is please, please um, download the app, i61m, all the app stores. But also um, you'll see when you get on our website, isi61.org or on our app, you'll see i61 live. Now, this is a really fantastic entry point for everybody. Uh, we'll be doing this. We're doing it twice in March, but we're doing it. We will we'll be doing it every week. Um, certainly by April, with the amount of people wanting to come on it. And what I do is I literally run a live Isaiah 61 group, as it were, with people who are interested in it. And again, we did this last week. We had 40-odd people came, and we had an 80% of the people there set a goal within half an hour. It, it, it just shows people how simple this is, but also how impactful it is. So those 40-odd people, they, they wouldn't have set a goal without an app, and they wouldn't have set a goal if they hadn't been together. And we're just showing people how you can do this in 30 minutes. Now, our group at home, we did that. We didn't do it like that. We had much more time. But we realised that people are getting together, and maybe if every Christian spent an hour a month, so every Christian in the UK spent one hour a month with other Christians going, we should really be sharing our life. We should be sharing our faith with friends. And we should be inviting people to find out about Jesus. If everybody did that, and if everybody set one goal every month and did that within a very short period of time, we would see the whole dial of the UK church, how it shares Christ, changed. And that's the that's the heart. We're, we're not doing this so that we get more, loads of people doing it. We're doing it because we want to see people saved. And wonderfully, we've already seen two people find faith through two people who were using the Isaiah 61 app and were leaning in 
And it was just remarkable. They proved beyond doubt it works, but it only works if you set a goal, you do it in community, and you want to. And you've made it available free of charge as well. All, yeah, all yeah. free. It's all really so, accessible. So, please, you know, that's easy, that's easy to get involved. You can also join. We've got a, a prayer team that people yeah. can join. You just click and prayer at i61m.org. Uh, we also have a wonderful, um, like we have a support a support function where you can either, you can send a, an email in at support at i61m.org, i61m.org. And we've got we've got a team of support who basically will 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 send you back information where you can find out answers, or we've even got appointments people can book with our team where you can actually book a fifteen minute slot and talk to someone about what you're thinking and how do you think you could adapt. But really, we've discovered whatever anybody thinks of doing with this, if it involves Christians uh, sharing their life, deepening new and existing friendships sharing their faith, growing in confidence to share their faith and learning that God does anoint us to preach good news by inviting people to find out about Jesus. The answer is yes, it is free. We're giving it away because we believe the world of the generous gets larger and larger and God continues remarkably to provide for all our needs. But of course, yeah, we, we are, we're reliant on the generosity of people who see this and get it and go, yes, we can, yes, we can join in Johnny boy. How do we do that? So, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much, John, for sharing. Before we close, um, how can we be praying for you? What I'm sure you've got a, a long, well, in fact, you've already shared with me quite, quite a yeah. prayer list. What are your sort of top three things yeah. that are really key for people to be praying for as yeah. you start? I think, I think the number one thing is, you know, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon us to preach good news. This is this this relies on on him. Um, we rely on his spirit to guide us as a team, and we've seen him do that. Of I've personally seen it for three years, but we need that continued sense of his spirit. It will be his spirit that draws people to this app. It will be his spirit that gently um, encourages us, that he's with us in this journey. It will be his spirit that creates the opportunities. So we really need his spirit for everybody involved, particularly we're only a small team. There's only six of us. Um, we need his spirit. Um, we need his encouragement. Yeah, so his spirit is the first thing. The second thing is just a real sense of people getting excited about it, you know, realising everybody can do it. And the thing that really excites me are these is people who have not shared Jesus maybe for 10, 20, 30 years. Wow, don't give up. No one's beyond, no one's beyond this. No one's beyond sharing life, faith, and Jesus, please come and have a go. And then the third thing would be provision. Yeah, you know, we, we're we a faith movement. We're definitely a faith movement. We're giving it away. And so we rely on people supporting us, regular uh, supporters, kingdom builders, we call them. We've got people who are blessed by God and generous who really sown into this over the last three years to enable us to do all the three-stage trials. So we're very blessed. We're amazed by what God's done. And you never know just maybe just maybe god's got some exciting things for the uk church and also we're spreading around the world as well which we never anticipated so wisdom would be great for us all oh thank you so much john brilliant great Look to seeing how it goes thanks so much and thank you stewardship thank you for all your help thank you for your personal encouragement to me Stuart, and the whole team you're a fantastic bunch of people we're delighted to partner with you and we want to say, please, anybody, please get engaged with Stewardship. They're a wonderful organisation, kingdom orientated. So get involved. But thank you, Ruth, and all the team for just being such encouragers to me over my last few years, but also to the little team we've got. Uh, we love Stewardship.